at Iron Roger Biz, we want to take a minute of your time to show you how to cut an inset sink into a worktop, and the same applies for doing a hob. Okay, so when you get the sink, you might get a cardboard template which you can use to draw around, and that'll give you the cutting line. If not, then you've got to draw around the sink with a pencil. I always use masking tape on the work surface because it shows the pencil line up better. Also, it saves your jigsaw from scratching the worktop. When you're using a jigsaw blade to cut worktops out, there's a danger that the bimetal ones will wander a bit and bend a bit and go off the cut. So I always use the good old fashioned stiff ones. They can snap, but they're a lot stiffer. So, so long as you take it carefully, you'll be fine. and you need to make sure that you've got something on there which will resist any moisture going in. It could be oil based paint, it could be silicone, it could be varnish, anything you've got will do just so long as you get it on there. Now normally of course at this stage I would apply some sealant or fit the foam rubber strip which is supplied with the sink to the underside to stop any water from seeping down under the sink and into the cupboard below. But because this is a mock-up I'm not going to do that at this stage. 